Right, ladies and gents, um, continuing on, the, the uh, top of the Bergen, uh, the top flap, um, obviously when I'm picked it, it's fairly basic, there is, uh, like I say, it's a lightweight survival Bergen, meant to be on a uh, rotary ring there craft, and as we know, their weight is very critical, even in your powerful channels and all that, especially when they start working in hot temperatures and high altitudes. Uh, so, I've unpicked that, all I've done is took the straps off, um, that go down to actually secure the Bergen. That is the back and that's the lid. Okay, so that's the actual, it's always going to point one way or the other, but the horizontal surface, that's the front of the Bergen and the horizontal surface here. Now, uh, one of the patches that I always use the most, go into the most, so I always keep my most used kit in it. Your most used kit is probably going to be quite vital to you. Um, and always nice to uh, have it to hand. So I do want to put a, um, a pouch on the top of this. I've considered doing one, putting a zip at the front, um, yeah, various options, but again, I like to sort of reuse a repurpose kit, um, and uh, I don't need to, I don't want to make this no more complicated than it needs to be. Like I say, this is going to be, uh, this is a pre-prototype of me actually building a Bergen from scratch. So it's a learning curve for me and that as well, ladies and gents. Right, uh, so I've got this area to work with, bearing in mind there's a little bit of that that's going to be needed to sew to the back of the Bergen. So that's going to be like, if you imagine the horizontal top and that's the front. So ladies and gents, I took the uh, pouch off the rear of the Bergen, still yet, yet to work on that. It was a good size little pouch, you'd probably get an army poncho in there. Uh, probably what that was designed to be, or your rations for the day is what I used to use it for. Well actually when I was in, that pocket would always be ammunition. Either Link or 7.62, none of this girly, you know, 5.56, your proper man stuff. Um, and what I've worked out, ladies and gents, uh, as we can see there, there is enough room for me to put that so that, that the pouch that was originally on the front of the Bergen at the bottom to the top with a little bit of careful sewing, uh, it can be, I can have a, a nice pouch like that. I want it going, I'm not deciding whether I'm having it going forward, away from my head as it is there, or to have it like that and there. So, because a consideration on anything is losing your kit out of uh, your Bergen. Never want to do that, uh, no matter what bit of kit in there. Because if it's in there, it's important and it has a use. So, uh, I may do that that way. My head's going to be here, so if anything falls out, I'm going to see it as it comes over my shoulder. Um, yeah, I I'm just, just think that makes sense to do. So, reusing that pouch on there, and I mark it up and sew it on. Um, but as we see here and there, I'm just going to come and make sure we're in shot. Put that right at the back. Yeah. Um, once that flap comes over, if these corner ends are not popped down over the side, you may lose stuff out the side. So all I'm going to do, again, you know, like the piece of lightweight material with the, the snow lock and all that. Is that I always find them like proper annoying and that. Um, and like I say, I'm building this for what I want. I thought of, um, ir irrespective of the pouch, putting a strip of material in there, strip of Velcro there, so it'd go over and seal it. And then the, the original pouch, sorry, the original um, lid will come over. Too much mucking about. So I've done it before, it does work. A uh, piece of material like this, this is just a demonstration bit of material. I'm gonna put there, one there, another one over, put a piece of Velcro so it's sealed in and then that top will come over and seal it. And there ain't nothing coming out the sides. Easy to do uh, and works. So you'd open the pouch, pull that aside so you can have two what I call funny flaps and in, kit, Velcro and lid closed back, ladies and gents. Hopefully that kind of makes sense. Um, could do all sort of, sort of, um, newfangled uh, pouches on the top but I, yeah, I just really like the idea of using that and as we, as I've been thinking there yeah the lid so it's like the, you're looking at the back of the Bergen there my head's going to be here my head's going to be here so I do want it that sort of side and that way if it comes out and uh, so once I turn the cam off I'll mark it all up on here and um, before I sew anything on I, I know from previous experience uh, for want of a better expression I'll call it a fanny flap that needs to be sewn on and the Velcro sewn on again. And uh, so when I actually sew it on, it will have two sides. So that's now what I'm going to do, ladies and gents. I'm not going to bore you with uh, watching me sort of uh, mark and chalk all this up, but I'll bring you back at the various stages. 
And as you can see here, I've marked the front. So I'm now using exclusively the top. <coughs> I marked off the sides, so it's going to be sewn to that chalk line, that one down there. Then to measure it up, and you can get all your rulers out and all that sort of stuff. But there, yeah, I've got a perpendicular line there, so I need to just do a little. previously done yep so as we can see there that's where that's going to be ladies and gents this I will sew on first and I'm going to make it see where it's folded that way I'm going to use that I'm going to take that because I want to keep this as tight to it as possible so that literally is probably going to come down to there and using this one, so I'll put that to there. Yeah. And I'll use a straight edge to make sure I get that strap. So once I've got it done, ready to sew together, I'll sew my lid on there. And as we can see, that's where the top of the pouch is gonna come. So it's gonna be sort of down inside and pull over. That'll make more sense when I, when I bring it back on that. And uh, as this is gonna be facing the front, Obviously, I'm going to put two uh, 25 millimeter small webbing loops here. So, if needed be, I can actually strap something to the top and back of this pouch. Uh, well, we'll see what that's like when I've had a little dibble with it. Right, ladies and gents, uh, just stop for a few seconds. Um, easiest way to do things. Uh, what I've decided to do, I'm going to have two loops. This is the bottom of the top pouch, and you've got to do everything before you sew it on, as I've always said there. But there's the corner. There's the corner, and uh, I want to put a piece of Velcro there just so I can have. Um, I like to have an England uh, Union uh, a, um, a Union Jack on there. Uh, so to find the middle of that, don't get all your rulers out. You just do this. Put both corners together like that. Pull it out, and as we can see, um, there's a line there. So I know the exact centre or the back of the pouch with uh, Mr. Velcro. little line there, a little mark there, and once I put it on, I'm going to bring it up just to allow for that sewing, um, I'm going to sew this to the back of the bag and obviously, and uh, put me a piece of Velcro there ladies and gents, just make sure that's in shot, bit of in shot there, yeah so there's my line, mark the Velcro, that's the easiest way to get it done, and that will be just, it's Dead certain you can spend hours with a, um, a ruler trying to work that out. And obviously that will give me, once I know that's dead centre, the equal distance between there, there and there is where I'm going to put me uh, just two 25mm straps just so I can, if needed, uh, strap something on there. Right ladies and gents, now we've got a nice little bit of sunshine on there. Uh, I've taken that away, I've sewed these securing straps on. Okay, this is the actual pouch itself. Um, two loops, so if necessary, I can carry something small and cylindrical along there. Uh, 25mm uh, loops gives me that option, and obviously, a little bit of velcro because that's facing backwards, and I'll probably stuck it in in general or, or some such thing. I'm not really one for badges and that, but I thought, yeah, while well, I'm doing it for myself, you do it exactly how you want it. So, as we see there, that's the pouch. We thought about putting something inside. If it was a vertical pouch, I would, but it's not, it's a flat pouch. So that's like that, and here we have the lid. All I've done is uh, I've replaced the hardware. Uh, these are proper military uh, spec buckles. Uh, click lock, 20 millimeter ones. Uh, I say they're not like cheap, cheap, but uh, you know, if you're gonna do something, you do it properly. And I quite like the contrast uh, with the green. I managed to get some of them on eBay, ladies and gents. And, uh, Nothing too much at the top, but what I decided, because I do like that patch, uh, that's the original maker's patch, I've just put it on uh, the Bergen, much like it was in the first place, just in a different location. So when we look at that, and that, again, kind of, you, you, with a bit of imagination, you can see it's going to be the top of the pouch. So let's send two bits done, and uh, bring it back to this, as we see here, uh, that's the front, that's the back, and the lid's going to come over this way. So, actually, what you're going to rather see, once I've sewn it on, and I've taken a little bit of time here, 
uh, to make sure that all the markings are correct. Uh, yeah, I think you can sort of see how the pouch is going to go. Um, yeah, so, yeah, happy with that, ladies and gents. Let's get some more sewing up done. Right, ladies and gents, a little bit of sewing up later on. Um, here we have a few um, cottons about. That is the back of the Bergen. Uh, there's a top of the pouch. I stuck that on there. I quite like that, to be perfectly honest. I need to do one more row of stitching down there, which I'll do just after this. Uh, to make sure everything else is. I've just chucked a bit of kit in there just to give it some shape and some form. Uh, there's the lid, so that's facing away from me. Um, I've got a little Union Jack there. I've got a lot of real estate here. Uh, I'm not really sure. Do you know, I think I'd, I could see a, a nice first aid kit here. Uh, a first aid kit pouch, not coming out too much. And at the bottom there, I think I might as well just bring it down and another lengthen that so it's got more coverage. Uh, there's the side. Okay, and the other side. And uh, when we look down there, that's the back of the Bergen for when it's when it's sewn back on. Yeah, uh, that's quite a nice little patch there. The only thing I'm thinking, and it's just me, and I'm overthinking things here, is when I do that, I may sew, I'll just throw some stuff in there. So a piece of broker on there, and a little tab that comes over, and we'll just keep it closed, um, so, you know, when you're in and out the pouch. Um, yeah, I think it's... Uh, that way and just uh, another thinking obviously that's the front of the pouch that's facing away from me that's where the, you know the uh, buckles are going to go that's the lid and uh, and I'm walking in that direction so any trees or branches won't get caught yeah they'll just go straight over it if you had it the other way and you're walking you're going to end up having you know um, something caught in your rucksack or whatever and that can be ever so annoying um, so hence there's another reason why I decided to have the, the open part of the pouch that I've uh, repurposed, you know, um, facing forward. Uh, so it's roughly going to be like that, like that on the Bergen. But yeah, I'm going to take my dog for a walk, have a cup of coffee and decide what I'm going to do with all that real estate there. Uh, even if I just do one first field dressing, um, your military, like Israeli bandage and there, to have to get out very quickly should you need it I don't think that's going to be a bad use of that space I'm not just trying to put patches on for patches sake uh, but yeah I mean there's a good piece of real estate there I'll have a little think about that and bring you back ladies and gents